Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight with me, Pug Gaming. Last week we worked on this very unusual build, the Benbridge Fort, which um, had some great feedback from you guys, so thank you very much for that. I really did enjoy building this. Again, we haven't built much in terms of a population-based build just yet. Um, this is obviously very aesthetical, pleasing, and a very unique build. I really did enjoy it. But we're going to add a bit of population today alongside another very unique build which is really fun to do and if you're a fan of PO stick around because it was not possible without it and <laughs> it was really fun to do. So today we're going to be working on a small area just down the road from where the fort is. This area is part of Benbridge and it's classed as the area that you go to if you want to have a really good view of the island it's a very nice area just up the road from here um, there is this little village area which is very iconic and um, there's a little pub nearby which um, you'll see in the top corner we're trying to replicate here um, a very unusual area very small little settlement or whatever you want to class it as the actual name of the area is Culver Down and yeah it's got a lot of nice little bits it's got the uh, Yarborough Monument, which we've um, recreated with the item we've already placed down. Not exactly the same, but I did use PO to adjust the original, so that did kind of work out okay. So, like I said, we're going to have a few houses put down here in this little village area, but it's very, very sort of countryside s this area. There's a, not a lot going on. It's fields galore, trees, not much happening in terms of population. So despite myself saying at the start of this video we're going to add to the population, I'm talking about a number of 30, 40, 50 people. Um, but this is a really nice area to build and it did remind me back in the day when I built the um, Walking Dead series um, recreations and I did the farmhouse area. It gave me that sort of feeling when I was working on this. Um, and obviously since then a lot of new assets a lot of new mods have been introduced which means that it should be a lot better than I was able to recreate back then um, so the buildings went down perfectly these are some really nice buildings I think these are actually um, the townhouses um, based ones but they look kind of similar and I didn't want to keep using the same UK buildings. I wanted to use something a little bit different and this did kind of suit the needs. Now this is the little pub that's um, joined to this small area. You can imagine um, the, the regulars who go there quite often. But it is also, like I say, a focal point and a lot of people come here and admire the views and obviously have a cheeky little pint as well. So. It's um, a nice little area and there's also a little shop we'll work on as well, selling the ice cream etc. So that will be that. But I have really enjoyed working on this, this segment here. Um, it's a wave, it's kind of in between a bit of both isn't it? There's a bit of population building, a bit of detailing, field area and we're going to work on something cows quite unusual after. Now I wanted to make this a bit more interesting so I wanted to have the houses lower down than the main street and that's how it is um, in real life and I did that by using the network um, terraforming um, assets from the workshop and they work wonders, they really do. There are obviously times where perhaps if you're trying to do that over a road segment the land won't fall because it's still using the, the road configuration so there is sometimes some, some conflict that reduces the ability to do what you want to do with those but here as you can see I had to adjust the road a little bit here to make that work but it did come together nicely now as you may already know if you follow me on social media last weekend I was lucky enough to be invited by Paradox Interactive to go to the PDX show in Berlin and boy was it a great show it really was fantastic people there I got to meet a lot of new faces and even better I got to put some names to faces so I met a lot of content creators asset creators and it was just a blast it was great to speak to people find out what's been going on sort of you know, find out a bit more about them really really good unfortunately there was not the rumored city skylines 2 however i'm sure there'll be some interesting news at some point that we'll all be looking forward to 
Did you go to PDXCon? Let me know in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Let me know. But back into the video because this is one of the fun parts. I do love my PO work as you all know. And we use this kiosk to basically morph it into a shed to make it look like a little little you know little outhouse building where people come to buy their ice creams and maybe their the paper and a bit of a snack or so. So we use PO here to sort of morph this into the this shed, which um was a lot easier than I thought to be fair. I thought it was going to be quite difficult to do, but I kind of learned quickly how the model of this kiosk was working and I knew which nodes to click on. That's pretty much the only thing that slows down some of the work with procedural objects is when you um, can't quite work out what nodes move what exactly. So um, that was quite refreshing in the end to be able to do that pretty quickly. Next we move on to something quite exciting. I was really looking forward to building this. I didn't have a clue how to do it at first, um, but this is the Culver battery. So this is a former coastal artillery battery on the Culver Down that was pretty much protecting um, the UK, well, England um, over the war times. Um, it was closed in 1956, so it's obviously been around for quite some time, unused, um, and I was hoping to try and recreate that sort of look and feel as best I could. Um, and I had a bit of trouble finding a way of doing this, and the best way in the end was actually using these trenches. Um, now, you'll probably think this is going to look nothing like what it's meant to, and I'll pop an image on the screen now to show you what I'm trying to build. <laughs> Um, but it did take a bit of time and again using the technique we did last week with the fort we um, end up using the network grass to sort of overlap the top of this um, to hide the parts we don't want to see because all I really wanted here was a nice textured wall that was thick enough that we could then just put some grass on top and just make the look of what the, the battery is which is pretty much just two horseshoes <laughs> essentially. Um, and there may be easier ways to do this but this was probably the best way that I think that I could have done so um, with a wall that looked looked realistic enough for the area um, and I think that the actual trench texture here actually worked quite nicely I did trial out a number of walls from the workshop and there are some amazing ones on there don't get me wrong but there wasn't one that really stood out enough for me um, and you'll see now we are using the newer version of PO in this episode. Didn't get to last time in the previous episode because I already created it before it was released. Um, but we are taking full advantage of the new version and the additional features that has been added to that, which is really good. 
Um, and this area, well this segment of the build did take a bit of time as you can imagine trying to line up all of these parts to the same degree, the same level did take a bit of time but the results at the end I was really really pleased with um, it was just getting in getting that first block down correctly at the right height and then you could just pretty much use the copy and paste function on PO to um, get that all all into place um, this area again like I said is a focal point for the island a lot of people come just to look at this particular part of the um, the area um, and obviously the views beyond this looking over towards the rest of Europe is really really great to see um, doesn't look so good on my game because I don't have the rest of Europe added in but um, believe me I've been many times before um, and it is a really fascinating place to visit so if you're into um, architecture or um, anything relating to the war um, certainly check this area out because it is a really nice place to come and visit and I must say as well thinking about how far this game has come I know it's a regular topic for all of us to discuss but um, I would never be able to create something like this at all a year or two back nowhere near as good I would have had to have relied on someone to create an asset for this um, and that's what I love about this game you know there's people who play this game in so many different ways and fashions um, I'm really into the whole creating something in game that's not actually meant to be if you know what I mean like this here is almost like creating an asset in the game which is what PO allows you to do move it allows you to do and you know creativity really does flow when you're doing something like this um, and it feels really nice when you can get something that works together um, it does take a bit of time which again is probably why my videos take so long at points to come out um, I'm trying to do weekly I promise you I really am um, but yeah it all depends on what I'm building if I'm gonna go for a very easy well I say easy if I'm gonna go for something a bit more um, town buildable or just a field area it's going to be a lot easier to build but I do keep thinking of these little locations that are more aesthetically pleasing rather than actually playing the game and doing stuff like that but hopefully it will all come together at the end and I'll be able to show off a lot of different types of builds um, and hopefully they inspire you to do something yourself along the same lines I wanted to also add in these graffitis as well I've never actually used these before um, and there is unfortunately some on these um, these locations uh, so yeah I just thought I'd give them a try and um, they kind of work quite nicely with what I've done as well there is a little car park off here um, it is a dirt based car park so that was just plopped off camera when you use the decals to try and make that look a little bit more um, gravelly rather than the traditional concrete ones that um, are on the workshop um, and it will be functional as well so hopefully we can get some people parking in this area as well um, and again you'll see we go a little bit grass crazy with this area to try and sort of really emphasize the fact that this is a uh, you know a rundown area not rundown in that sense obviously it's still looked after but um, in the sense of it's not a brand new location this was a world war one and two um, last year sort of area um, obviously as I said being demolished and closed down in 1950s um, it's obviously sat there for quite some time idle collecting um, weeds and bushes I guess um, however you may think this is gonna be strange but we're gonna remove this and put in a custom built asset by the one and only not done yet so I was speaking to him on Discord prior to this episode and he said he fancied building the battery himself. So whilst I also wanted to show off what is possible with PO with the latest update, um, I eventually wanted to use the actual asset created by Not Done Yet. And as you can see, it is absolutely superb. It's obviously a lot easier to um, get the proper look of the battery when you're creating an asset just as he did. Um, and it looks spot on really really impressed with this the texture the detail everything works perfectly for this build but I thought I'd keep in the procedural objects version as well to show you like I say what is possible with the powerful mod but a big shout out to not done yet the 
as it was absolutely fantastic and we look forward to seeing what else you put on to the workshop. And with that said, I think that is pretty much it for today's episode. Episode 8 was really, really fun to build. I really did enjoy getting into this particular build. It was, a, again, like I said, a little bit of a population boost. But again, it was also a very detailed little segment of the area. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to involve a different type of feel with this new series. With some heavy detail and then some more sort of population and booming of people. So stick around and I'm sure to bring you something that you'll enjoy within City Skylines. Other than that guys, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more in the future. Have a good weekend and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and all the best.